welcome or welcome back. So this is another quick sketch drawing I've done. This uh, took well, about three or four hours to do and I did this in two passes which is quite I found quite a nice way to do the drawings. So I my first pass is just generally laying out the structure and then second pass through try and do some of the outlines and general flow lines and then third pass to go through and get some of the details. the lines I've used the needed ways are just to remove some of the construct, um, construction lines makes it a bit easier to draw but you never quite get rid of all of them and just try and incorporate the original construction lines in the picture I can and sometimes they add an extra little bit of interest so it's quite nice to keep them so this is with my e-pencil which is a mixture of graphite and charcoal and gets quite grubby so I quite often, every so often during this I've stopped and washed my hands to keep the, the black marks down to a minimum and that seems to be helping quite a lot I didn't used to do that and ended up with black marks over my picture over my walls <laughs> on my light switches on my desk <laughs> and everywhere else so I made a big effort now to try and keep things a bit tidier so and this pencil it tends to be it can get quite a, a light tone if I work very lightly with it and if I need to I can go quite dark but as with a lot of soft pencils if you start I noticed start um, coloring in or coloring in, if I start laying down a lot of the tone darker tones with it it gets sort of gritty and it's got gaps in it, same as any soft pencil does. And uh, one of the things I noticed later on in this video is that the camera started picking that up as well. So here it looks quite smooth, but it's okay. But for some reason, somehow, <laughs> I managed to get the camera to focus differently, and it gets all sort of grainy and patchy later on. I just want to get to the coloring in, or the toning and shading and scan. Keep saying coloring in, but because there's no color here at all, it's just uh, shades of grey. Uh, the face on this seemed to work out quite well. I think I'm gonna try and carry on with. One thing I'm really noticing with this is that I've often before prepared the picture and started drawing and worrying about the camera angles. And the problem with that is that I start worrying more about making the video and less about doing the drawing. And with these, I've just grabbed the camera, turned it on, started recording, and I think I get more of a natural sort of um, finish is more how I normally draw when I'm not recording. So it's all, all exp explorations and attempts to try and get record what I think is quite a personal hobby. It's you sort of, you work, sit in your room and you try and draw up some images that form in your mind or copy what it, the impressions you see from reference material. But it's quite hard to record that and capture that. So, oh, well, here we go. Looks like this bit where the camera started picking up the grainy effect from the pencil. I don't think what to do with this next time. I might do some of my basic line works in HB and then jump up to 4 or 6 beats for the tone and uh, see if that can avoid some of the grain. But having said that, the last picture I did as well with the also too bad, it's only if you lay, lay down large areas of really dark tone you see this. So maybe it's only when I do large areas I'll try blending. Whatever it is, see what works out next time. Anyway, I'm not going to keep talking all the way through this because I just don't have that much to say. Um, well, I hope you enjoy the image. I'll try and get this available 